I've got an excellent training aid alignment guide uh, developed by Steve Elkington and Dave Pels that shows the relationship between your shoulder alignment and the putter face alignment. Now, whatever putting technique you're using, if you're using traditional putting, uh, lead hand low, uh, if you're using pencil grip, claw, uh, or dyna line, this can be a helpful type of aid to make certain that we have a square shoulder alignment. Uh, I'm going to demonstrate now where the traditional putting and lead hand low, those types of grips uh, still allow for a lot of variation in during your stroke that can be harmful to your putting. So with uh, first we'll show uh, traditional putting. I've got my thumbs down the center of the grip and then I'll, I can square up my shoulders. But I can move my shoulders and you can see that that doesn't change the club face alignment. So the shoulders are in working independently of the club face and that's uh, that uh, leads to variation and inconsistency with uh, traditional putting. So it requires a couple of things that you grip the putter with the shoulder square and then you maintain that. Uh, and that can be difficult to do during a stroke because you're applying force to these joints that have slack in them. Now I'm going to try some lead hand low putting. And I've got the putter face squared up here. And then I've got my shoulders square. Now I'm going to reach down and grip it with my lead hand low. And you can see how that will close the shoulders. So if you're using this type of putting grip, you have to get used to having the shoulders be square as you reach down. And there's really a lot of variation that can occur during this type of putting. Uh, you may just automatically reach down and grip this putter. It's, it's really easy to do that with your lead hand low, but you might be misaligning the uh, club face and the shoulders while you're doing that. Uh, and then also, once again, I can put the, uh, once I've got my, I'll square up my shoulders with my lead hand low, but then I can also, with this type of grip, change my shoulder alignment without changing the club face alignment, or vice versa, change the club face alignment without changing my shoulder alignment. And that's indication that there is slack in your system. Uh, the slack in the system can lead to misalignment at any time during the stroke, and especially at impact. Now, with the Dynaline system, we're going to remove the slack from the system, and we want to make certain that we have club face and shoulders square when when we fix our lead hand on the club. And with Dynaline, we do a supination with the lead hand. We're removing slack from the wrist joints, elbow and shoulder joints before we grip the club. So we have the shoulders square and I'm supinating my lead hand and I'm gonna put it on the club and fix it there. And then after we go through the rest of the Dynaline pre-shot routine. Come back and get the club face square. And then you can see if I move my shoulders, that's also going to change the club face alignment. And that's an indication that there is no slack in our system. There is a minimal amount of slack in the system between the wrist, elbows, and shoulder joints so that we're connected uh, with the golf club and the golfer as a single assemblage now. So this is a much more efficient uh, and less prone to misalignment during the swing because we have fixed this relationship. So now the club is going to swing on a stable arc with the club face maintaining a square alignment to that arc during the stroke. So this is, uh, if you haven't looked at your shoulder alignment recently, and considered some of these things, you might want to uh, get uh, a, an aid like this so you can check these uh, check these alignments.